It's not easy being a bear in a bull market, but Brad Lamensdorf of the Ranger Equity Bear ETF has some names he thinks are worthwhile short candidates. He's here to share them with us. Welcome, Brad. Thank you. And before we get started on the individual names, tell me, what's it like right now? Market's moving up. It's moving against you. It is. And our, our uh, ETF is short only. We uh, have to be short. We don't have any longs in the portfolio. We feel that everyone needs a bit of insurance in their portfolio, even if it's going against them. Uh, in the fall, we had cut back the fund and went to about 17% cash, anticipating a move up in the markets. We're now fully invested. Cinnamon has gotten ridiculous on all the sentiment gauges, Ned Davis and the investors' intelligence, and insiders are now selling at eight to nine to one over the last two or three weeks. So while the public's finally pushing some assets into the market, insiders are moving out of the market. Well, you certainly got that move up. Let's talk about some individual stocks. One of those which has had a nice move up today is Fossil. They reported better than expected earnings. Their revenues are up 14% in the latest quarter. You gonna stick with that short? We are gonna stick with that short. We think the channels were stuffed. The receivables were up 20% and we continue to believe that they're going to have margin problems throughout the year. And they actually did come out and have some margin problems this quarter, and Wall Street's giving them a free pass. You're also not a fan of CenturyLink. Now, this stock pays a pretty nice dividend, around 7%. A lot of people are reaching for yield. Why do you want to be on the other side of this? So a CenturyLink has to pay over almost 90% of their free cash flow to make that dividend. And they actually had some expenditures that they needed to make earlier in the fall and had to do a lease because they couldn't afford to pay for it out of pocket because it would have disturbed the payment of that lease. We feel like it's a train wreck. This is the old quest. We feel like they've been holding back CapEx that they're going to have to start you know, uh, using and, and having into their business again. Uh, we, th we just think it's a train wreck. And then finally, Goodyear Tires, you're short this one. They also came out with earnings today. They beat by a penny, but they said that Europe is really weak for them. Stock selling off. You going to play this one lower? Uh, we are. This is a core name. We've been in it for over a year. They have a tremendously poor balance sheet, uh, six to one leverage. Their material costs uh, have been hurting them. They, um, they sell to the second uh, the, the replacement tire, the replacement tire business is not going to be near as strong as analysts think because if you go on the AAA website, miles driven in the United States is actually at a 17 year low. 50% of people aren't working, so it's not as easy. And the cars that are being purchased right now with new tires should also be hurting them as well, the new purchases. All right, we'll watch those shorts. Thank you, hey, Brad. Thank you. And thank you for watching the street.